day for dealing with um ooh for dealing with the uh metagross kind of want to go for screens hmm i think i'll bring marowak game one and if it doesn't work out i'll bring something else and my last mon's gonna be finny i think i like that Do I like this? Coco and Waltress in the lead. Finny could also be disgusting on the lead if I play it right. But if he doesn't bring the um if he doesn't bring the Raichu, he's kind of in trouble. Let's lock it in. Alright. Oh, no, no. Ioku, the match I uploaded to YouTube isn't the tournament match from today. It's a different one. <laughs> it's it's from last night. Does he have a ground move on Metagross? He does. He dropped Psychic for his ground stab. So, um, I think if I were him... Does he have Brutal Swing on this thing? He does not have Brutal Swing on it. He actually really doesn't like this Moltres on lead. I think what I'll do is I'll Protect and I'll try to catch his Ice Punch. Is that worth it? I'll try to catch the Ice Punch. This probably isn't going to work out, but I need it. If I can catch his Ice Punch, this is going good. The Dynamax, I'm hoping that isn't a Max Quake, because I can't survive the Max Quake after a Tailwind. I can survive a lot of things. Not that. Not bad. What we want to see is either a lack of a Tailwind or an Ice Punch. Or Max Hailstorm, I suppose. You know you want a Hailstorm. We still outspeed. Okay, we still outspeed. We're good. Ice Punch? <clears throat> he really thought. He really done diddly thought, dude. Alright, so now I'm walling that thing, and I can also one-shot this Tornadus, probably. So I'll Dynamax here. Max Airstream the Tornadus. I can probably get in my, my Finny for free now that the Reflect is up. But I also want to KO Tornadus. Or I could just go for screens. Do I really need this guy? Not really. Um, I'll go for Thunderbolt. I don't need light screen, really. There's the withdraw. Who's coming in? Raichu? Landers. Okay, that's fine. Tell me you went for the max hailstorm into this uh, Moltres here. That'd be ideal. Okay, the max quake, that's fine. He's gonna take the hit, but if he rock slides, I'm in a good spot.
fact, I can probably get in my, my Finny for free pretty much here. Alright, that guy drops to Hail next turn. He's Assault Vest on him, right? Yeah. We'll get Infinity because it's free. I'll just Muddy Water and go for another one of these. Max Airstream the Landris, go for the Muddy Water. Basically, I just want to make sure I'm always faster than this Metagross and then I can win. I don't believe Entei gets close combat. Okay, that shouldn't do much to my Finny. And he's not going to one-shot my, um, my Moltres, so I still feel pretty good here. He could try to go for the one-shot on the Finny, but I might live that. Okay, get my berry. And I still have one more turn of Dynamax. Nice damage. I think I prioritize Metagross now with Max Darkness. He could try to protect, but I don't think it's worth it. The fact that he's slower than my Coco, even after a Tailwind, is actually really important, because that means he has absolutely no speed investment. There's his Tapu Fini. I will be deleting this thing now. Or actually, maybe I prioritize that Tapu Fini. Yeah, I'm going to prioritize Tapu Fini. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, I have issues with Tapu Fini in the back. Alright, cool. Let's see if my double pays off. Nice. Can I get a special attack drop too? That'd be great. That'd be great. Or maybe if you could Moonblast into me, that'd be better. The Muddy Water. No, no accuracy drop? Okay. Okay. So now I should be able to Fiery Wrath pretty safely. My play may be Fiery Wrath, Muddy Water. Really, I'm more concerned with getting rid of the Finny than anything, because I can beat this uh, Metagross. Or do I Moonblast? I might have to Fiery Wrath, Moonblast, and hope for a flinch. Muddy Water's probably better to ensure I knock out this Metagross, though. Alright, let's do it. Don't miss. Get, a, get, get an accuracy drop or something. Silver <laughs> Savannah Bananas, thank you for the follow. Or the subscription, thank you. Alright, Muddy Water, you better knock out this Metagross. We connect, come on. Oh no. 
<laughs> oh no, accuracy drop on the Finny, please. Okay, Moltres avoiding is actually pretty big. That's actually pretty big. Can I take the Ice Punch behind Reflect? I do not. Mm -hmm. Critical hit, too. Oh, God. Hail stopped. A lot of things going wrong here. I need an accuracy drop to win. I need an accuracy drop on the Finny in particular. Metagross could protect here. I think that's actually his play. But I still get KO'd anyway, so I just have to hope that, that they miss. Oh, that worked out. Hello? Did I make the right call? I need to connect. I think I'm out of one. This is really close. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. So he just protected the Metagross, which means he can't protect it this turn. I don't know if it's within Moonblast range, and I almost don't want to risk it. Muddy Water. Uh, I don't like that. I locked myself into that. Come on. Okay, we connected on the Metagross. If I survive with my... With my if I survive with my Marowak, I win. connect yes don't accuracy drop don't accuracy drop don't accuracy drop mm. okay we just barely got that game and that's why you don't run poltergeist on marowak shadow bone is objectively better oh my god that was scary But the same rules. God, his... I mean, the Coco screens are really important to winning. I can tell you that much. That's what we learned game one. Coco screens are in, in like just integral to winning. I might bring Cartana. Because he didn't bring any fire types. He has Heat Wave on the, um, on the Tornadus. But if I can remove Tornadus early enough, Cartana goes in. I know for a fact I always just lead off with Tapu Koko. I can even go Tapu Koko and Finny, and that isn't a terrible lead for me. Yeah, I think I like that. I didn't bring Landorus last time. I, I still don't think I should bring it. Let's bring Marowak again. We're pretty much just changing the order of our Pokemon. Bring some water. Hey, Cal with the sub. Thank you. All right. This is actually a great lead for me.
Because he's Figgy Berry Entei, I can just remove it from the field and get an early lead. Because he's going to Bulldoze. I can get a Reflect and get an early lead. Just Max Geyser. And he really doesn't have any water switch-ins except for his own Finny, which I don't think he'll bring in here. Two twenty percent on that big goal, yeah. <laughs> Thank you all. Yep, that is absolutely zero speed. If he's going after my, <laughs> if he's going before or after my um my Tapu Finny, that means he has absolutely zero speed. I kind of hope he targets into the Finny here, trying to get an early game KO. That'd be ideal. Because he wouldn't behind screens, and I would get a free KO on the on the Entei. He's gonna bulldoze here. Hey, that's uh, thank you for the host, man. It does a lot. Wow. Yeah, I figured that was a crit. I was like, there's no way he just actually does that much. Max Quakes. That does nothing to the Finny. Okay. That's what we like to see. He does survive. But I think I just go for another one into there, because like I said, he has one switch in for this. That's not very good. Does he have protect? He does have protect. I don't know if I'll go for it here. I'll get him my Moltres. I think my play is to remove the Entei. Just ignore the uh, the other Mon for a while. He might Bulldoze again. That makes sense. Okay, switches out. Is it the Finny? Yep. On Fortnite. Okay, cool. We actually get something out of that. And that does a solid amount. Now, if I were him here, I would Hailstorm. So I'm just going to Protect. And I'll get some chip damage on the Metagross. Because Metagross is really my biggest fear in this matchup. I'm kind of hoping he Hailstorms into my Moltres so I can eat it. Muddy Water. No accuracy drop, please. That'd be really annoying right now. Okay. I might have to switch out Finny soon. Hey, he Hailstorms, though. That's good. No crit. Nice. So I can outspeed him now and threaten him. Did nothing. I could go for the muddy water, but I think I'd rather get out of there. Also, I think that the Metagross would protect here, if anything. It's in danger of getting KO'd by Fiery Wrath, so I'll just air slash directly into the Finny. And I'll bring in the Coco. Is that my play? 
I'll bring in the Coco. It makes it so if my Moltres survives this turn via flinch or whatever, I can threaten a KO on the um on the Finny. They should always protect Metagross. Hey just Alex, thank you for the follow. There it is. Come on, baby, air slash. There's the berry. Like I said, if my if my guy survives this turn, we're in a good spot. Oh, he muddy waters. Okay, I can live with that. We'll survive. I don't threaten as hard of a KO now, but I'm still not in a terrible spot. Because now I got my berserk. Oh, yeah. You send in my Finny. Kind of wish I didn't sack my uh, Coco, though. We still have Reflect, though. And really, I'm only scared of, the, of their Tapu Finny. I've only got plus one special defense. I'm at plus three special attack. I might even just KO with Fiery Wrath on this on this Tapu Finny. And I'll Muddy Water as well. Or no, I shouldn't Muddy Water. I should Moonblast. In case I'm faster. They protect. Makes sense. I think that they're going to go into their um, Entei and try to extreme speed me. Because from this range it would KO. What I can do here is protect and try to get them. Landorus, okay. I mean, I might outspeed them. I might. Kind of iffy. My best play here since I have the Reflect is probably just to Icy Wind. Because that also catches the Entei on the switch in. Because Entei is a Salt Vest, so I can do this. I'm probably faster than it too if it's a bulkier Entei. Finny still has its whole berry, I think. Oh, we still got our berry. There's their Dazzling Gleam. I need this Icy Wind. I need to get this Icy Wind off, and then I think I just win. Okay, we connect on both. That's good. Get the speed drop. There's no way these guys don't both just drop to Fiery Wrath plus Muddy Water. I need to land it though, it's the issue. Oh yeah. Come on, I need you to land this, Finny. I should have moon blasted, but I was scared. We miss. That's not great. That's not great for us. His only move to hit Marowak is, um, is Bulldoze. I think here, since he's slower than my Finny with his Finny, we should always just Shadow Bone into his Finny and hope that he goes for the extreme speed into my, uh, or into his Entei and then hope he goes for extreme speed into my Finny. I need him to extreme speed the Finny. He protects his. Tell me you extreme speeded. I think I just always win now. He bulldozes. If I don't get crit, I win. Nice. That'll do it. 
Marowak the goat. And my reflect finally goes away. Alright, cool. Now we just click Moonblast to win. Nice. GG's.